I'm Kathy Hopkins with Red Carpet Report, and we're here at the NBC Universal Summer Press Tour. So uh, I'm excited to see the new uh, series, Famously Single. Um, so, Dr. Darcy, too. oh yes, my gosh, it, it's, it's like you have a, a bit of a, a biased opinion, of course, when I agree with it. <laughs> so, uh, I love the content that I've been reading about with it, uh, relationships, dating as a celebrity in LA, especially and all that. Uh, so what brought you all together? So Famously Single is a show where we bring eight celebrities under one roof and I get the opportunity as a relationship expert to teach them dating and relationship skills. And I do that through exercises that are designed specifically to challenge them as celebrities. Awesome. And uh, so what made you two join the show? Well, um, for me, it was going through a breakup, a heartbreak. So I just, the opportunity presented itself and I was just like, you know what? I go, worst case scenario, just make some new friends and end up walking away and learn so much about the things that I do wrong not running away from relationships, actually working through my commitment phobe that I, I have, very masculine energy around me. <laughs> and, um, you know, now I'm a girl. I've been reformed. Oh, oh no. I'm a girl now. What can I say? I'm no longer a shim. Mm -hmm. So you felt like every time it started to get a little bit serious with someone that you just kind of freak yeah, out and find I a reason to leave? It, it needs to be more slow and more steady pace because the you know the fear of making the wrong decision versus making a decision was one of my biggest problems so I just wouldn't choose a mate because right. I didn't want to make the wrong decision and I saw so many women make the wrong decision so it was just safer to like have fun and then be done with it when it wasn't working out anymore but now it feels like it's short the time doesn't but it? now is, I'm learning for me just not dating is really allowing me to know that I just need to take it very slow just move at a steady slow pace and then, you know, take it from there. And what do you feel like uh, brought you to the series in general? I came to the series because I was sick of making the same mistakes and dating the same people, and I didn't have enough understanding as to why that was continuing to happen. And I wanted to, at the least, grow into myself more, and at the most, walk away finding somebody that I love. Now, uh, do you feel like there is an extra issue with dating as a celebrity versus, you know, everyone else maybe deals with? I found that my biggest fear was the moment that it would come out in the public, the relationship would just go to shambles. And I kind of put myself into a very private box over the last few years where I didn't want anybody to know anything about my love life. And it's not fair for me because there's moments where I'm really happy and you want to express it, but then at the same time, your fear is people misconstrue things and they write stories that aren't true. And that does, that is a major part of us being a celebrity and dating. People, the press can, you know, mess up your, a lot of your relationships. You can spread rumors, things of that sort. You don't want that. It so could be like question. You have to, like I said, take it really slow. And communication is key, not running away. What do you feel like was a, was a great team building type of thing or a relationship? Uh, information building thing that you all did on the show together? I think having eight people live together under one roof created in and of itself, exactly, such a challenge that the first relationships they had to, the, the first skills that they had to cultivate were connecting with each other and trusting each other, then trusting me and becoming vulnerable with me. So for me, that was the greatest challenge, I think, that the, that the cast experienced. Yeah. Do you feel like uh, that anything particularly made you feel like this was a great idea for a show at this time? I think that this has been long overdue. At the at the end of the day, what what counts in our lives is the quality of our relationships. That's what's going to make our life having been a successful life or a, or a, or a life that that where opportunities were lost. So, the idea of teaching relationship skills is something I think we should be teaching in school, and it's long overdue. It's to me, it's got nothing to do with society or trends. This is something that should have been taught hundreds of years ago, and they're teachable skills, right? 
Yeah. You have to learn how to bring the wall down and actually connect with people, not just laugh it all off. And, and yeah. It definitely starts in the home, though. So it would be great for parents. You should do something for Absolutely. parents. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because your relationship starts with your parent at first, you know. That's right. You know, actually learn how to connect at home first. Before yeah. you can the problem is, is that that's where most of us learn our relationship skills. And if you look at the fact that the divorce rate is over 50%, so who are we learning relationship skills from? Our, our, our parents? Who And most of our parents aren't married or their relationships aren't great. And that's where we're learning our skills from. So, And it's not enough. We have to be taught fundamental communication skills and relationship skills. Yeah. We repeat the cycle too often. That's yeah. right. It's about breaking the, the family curse and yeah. then moving on forward in a positive way. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, do you feel like there's anything particular that you uh, want to tell other people to learn in addition to connecting with the people and all that? Um, you learn from this. I, I to definitely. lean into being uncomfortable. Yeah. Uncomfort is a sign of growth, and the more you resist it, the less you'll grow. Darcy taught us that. I did. Darcy taught us. And you know, it becomes easier every time once you start accepting new challenges. Doesn't it's it? a muscle, and once you get comfortable with it and you realize it, it leaves and you don't die, you're, you're going to be able to handle it the next time easier. So you have to expose yourself to it. Well, I am, I've really enjoyed talking to you all. I can't wait to see the series, especially hearing what you all learned and taught from this. So uh, congratulations. Can't wait to see how it goes. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more interviews, and let us know in the comments below your, what you're watching this summer.